Hello, folks, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We're taking a small respite, trying to learn all the lore we can before we head on to Moonrise Towers. Uh, we've got a broken man here. He's catatonic. Says we can still talk to him, though. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. Mm -hmm. Thaniel and me Climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We, we need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Yeah, I've heard the name Thaniel from a friend of mine, Halson. Really? Could you bring him here? You'd be glad of the help, wouldn't you, sir? Um, I mean, we could look at him, but I'm not sure it's gonna help. If you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Yeah, let's try to detect thoughts. Okay, that'll just work then. Vanilla. Vanilla. Okay, yep, same name over and over again. All right. Okay, let's go get Halson. So, we just need to go talk to Halson and... Oh, man, I'm on a short rest. Okay, well, we can long rest. That'll also work. Campsite in the middle of nowhere, apparently. Did we just sail over here? Very confused over what just happened. Um, okay, so where's Halson? Okay, there's Withers. Shadow Heart. He's still trying to open the artifact, I guess. There's Gale, and then there's Halson. You wish to speak? Okay. There's a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy named Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. Okay, we might as well just go ahead and go back. Just gotta load the entire in and again, so it's gonna take a little bit. There we go. Thank you. It's true, then. He's met Thaniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. All right. Any ideas? If he was able to escape the Shadowfell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it, anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Wait! Take this letter. It was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but it might help. Okay, see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. So he's gonna stay there. Some parchment there. Looks official. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna get the letter there. For those searching for the Grand Duke, our flaming fist attachment is returned to Baldur's Gate for reinforcements. We've identified the absolute cult of Duke Raven Guards abductors, and the Moonrise Towers are base, but which are too few to assault it. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we already know about that. So, so what about the letter we just got? Um, chest pot. Does it always resort? 
The sorting option is latest. Okay, so it's there then? It says it's wares immediately, but okay. No, how much? No, 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 we've already done that one. We've already done that one. There it is, this one. Okay, signee, art, call got rank, claim, objective, attain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and environs headed by Catholic Thorn of the region's ancestral Thorn family. Orders. Take lodging in the last light inn. Begin investigation in the local house of healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has been obtained. Note. The, religion, the region's Thorn family are long-standing devotees of Saeliun. But rumors indicate a Sharn enclave may be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Has he shown the any sign of coming to around the house of healing? He must have found something. Okay, Do so a house of healing somewhere. Uh, let's go upstairs first because we were instructed to do so. I don't think there's much else up here. Yeah, big empty nothing over that way. And then Isabel is the person we need to talk to, right? Where is Isabel? I don't suppose there's any spells in here. Remove curse. Nice. Hand that over to Gail. A cellunite robe. Give us anything good. It's light armor, so not really. I was thinking maybe, maybe Carla could wear it. I mean, I guess we can still grab it. Just out of wares. Uh, Isabel's got a diary. Might as well go ahead and read it. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel in my very lungs I cannot get it out. It will never out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should never have come back. Wow. Harsh. A lot of cellular robes and amulets. Not the door, but the wardrobe. Crescent moon earring and a front cat. Get over here. Okay, that's just another way to go that way. So no, I think it there. So where the hell is Isabel? Oh, here she is. All right, she might be concentrating on the spell then. Oh, let's not go and interrupt her. Uh, we're not doomed to be fall of the shadow curse, are we? Needs daily reinforcement or nightly reinforcement, I suppose, since you are a moon, got, uh, a moon advocate. <coughs> Some great armor, though. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. And you, I've heard you're the protector of the sin, banisher of shadows. Myself and Our Lady are doing what we can to hold the line. I hear you and your tadpole will be our offense. Well, news gets around fast. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahir has sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Well, this is why she sent us, but we don't actually need it, though. Okay, I mean, thanks for the boost. <coughs> it hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. 
Like a nasty little terrier. Oh, they'll get along famously. Um, all right. I mean, I already have a moon lantern. I can safely traverse the shadows. Well, if I'd realized, I'd have spared the theatrics. In that case, you should be able to navigate a path straight to your target. That's good. Very good. I wish you luck. The very best of it. Anything else I should know before we head off? Ketherick is a frightening man. But you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Oh, crap. Are we about to get ambushed? I mean, it makes sense you tried to take out the cleric, right? Yep, they're here to take out the cleric. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. Mm, what are you? True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Yeah, I've got a good wisdom score here, right? No, no, I don't. No, I don't, but I'm going to try it anyway. For the shot. It's only a DC 6. It's not bad. Holy fuck. Are you shitting me? Anything else we would have been able to do it. You know what? Fuck. Roll again. Roll again. I mean, I guess not anything else. We need a 4 better. Okay. That's not great. But it worked because the guidance is random, but it's still good. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Well, Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. You just wanted wings? Time to go, Isabel. Push this guy away, but he's got a lot of health. Oh, big giant miss. Alright, let's try. I mean, Flurry of Blows might be a good idea. That's something. Then. Stun him. Okay, that's good. That'll work. Do a lot of devils in the area, but the Thunder's Light should help us, I think. Yeah, a little bit of pain there. We're all right. We're all right. Yeah, the trouble is there's a lot of nonsense going on around here. I wonder if heat metal will work, right? It might make him drop his... Yeah, it might make him drop it. I'm going to try it. At the very least, if he doesn't drop it, he has to take damage every turn. And what's his, what's his biggest score? Strength by far. By far. But if we drop his other stats, we might be able to do something cool to him. Like, if we drop our wisdom, 
Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know. Uh, do a pommel strike on this guy. Well, now's the time to be special here, Shadowheart. Let's go. Radiant damage, please. Yeah, radiant there. Uh, the damage does go up a little bit. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Yeah. That should help a little bit. I think we can get... We can't go very far. Okay, we can at least save Gale, though. Gale in there somewhere? There we go. That's better. Alright, Chihira, show me why you're so good. Okay. Alright, Gale, I am suppose you can Misty Step out of here. You did not seem to have Misty Step memorized. You might have... No, you don't have anything in here. I guess what you could do is Thunder Wave these guys. You'd knock... Well, by doing that, you'd knock Karlak away. That wouldn't be great. You'd knock the wall away, which I guess would be fine. Yeah, we'd knock some things away here, but maybe that's okay. He gets them away from us, which I guess is good. And does damage, of course. Okay. Still have to go past this guy, though. It's not ideal. Um, what do we got here? Transmitter stone's not gonna help me. Yeah, drink a potion. It's better. Okay. Not great, but better. Why are you trying to... Okay. I mean, they're not undead, though. Are they? I don't think they are. Too many damn winged horrors in this room. Yeah, Harper, get in here. Your penance will be paid now. That's something, okay. You're gonna slip on the ice, aren't you? Oh no, you didn't, you didn't slip, okay, good. Uh, Halson, you want to maybe, I don't know, turn into a bear? You like turning into a bear. No, you didn't turn into a bear. Okay, go, go beat up some bad guys for me, will ya? General Tetherick wants her alive at any cost. Okay, smack this winged horror until he dies. I think we can probably take him out here with a flurry of blows. Okay. okay, then go smack this guy. Smacks, you get smacks. That's all we can do. Still good, though. Oh, they are undead. They totally got turned. Although, she's not doing too well. Um, we could cloud it daggers them, but I think Shadowheart's going to be better off here doing that. I think we need to focus on the big guy here, right? Let's get a song going on. Parabello. Stand over here. I guess I can't do anything, right? I'm gonna reapply the damage. That's something. I think that's all I can do. Yeah, so just stand over here so maybe allies get the bonus here. Point blank shot. Gotta, gotta love it. Shove him, okay. Okay, Shadowheart. Go over here so that these guys take damage. Heading there. Solid. And then smack these guys around a little bit. Oh, so little. So, so little. Okay, at the very least, heal our charge here, right? Um, I want to heal her, though. There we go. Isabel. Uh, she is half, so it's not too bad. 
that was helpful thanks okay what are you gonna do come on gotta get in there buddy okay i mean healing potion's good you're turn into a panther Okay, you probably want to take out the big guy here. Um, I guess, what is, is he immune to something? Do we know? He's got no resistances, which is great. He does have a bonus attack, which is a great weapon. Advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened, so that's not on our repertoire anyway. He's got an extra attack, but only if we let him. Can't be surprised. When you miss an attack, you deal six blood and damage anyway. That kind of sucks. All right. So he doesn't have any resistances. So Witch Bolt might not be a horrible idea. If we could do like a, maybe some Scorching Rays. Yeah, let's do some Scorching Rays. Three Scorching Rays to your, oh no, disadvantage on him though. Okay, okay, okay. Force could work. Fireball just seems like that's not gonna work. We could freeze him. Seems weird. Cloud of Daggers, not really. If not a pattern. The trouble is that's going to get everybody in a cone, which is not ideal. Slow them? Yeah, 75%. I'll take a slow. Uh, okay, so I can slow you. Okay, good. Let's slow you. Let's slow you. I don't think we have anybody else in the region we want to slow. I don't think we can see anybody else. Okay, I mean, that might work. Finish selection. Yeah, okay. That might help. It lowers their AC, makes them less likely to do things. Okay, this might work. Good jump. Oh, big ol' whiff. That's too bad. Okay, I got another winged horror come upstairs. Wow, paralyzed Jahira. That's too bad. Rage, why not? Why not? Then smack him. Yeah. Good range attack. Come on, just get over to the plot. You can see him. That's good. I like it. You gonna turn into a bear yet? Come on, Allison. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What the hell are you gonna do, buddy? Come on, get to it. There you go. Okay, I mean cold lightning is good too. Yeah, help out the help out the panther there. The general will be pleased. Oh, God damn it. Okay. We did slow him up at least. Okay, Carlac, punch this dude, will ya? Oh, I'm sorry, I mean punch him a lot. Okay, good. And keep on stunning him. Solid. They're blinded and slowed. Didn't attack the, the bed? Really? Okay, I mean, we should probably just attack this guy, right? He's the one with the most trouble right now. I'm just wondering what else we can do here. We could probably. Yeah, I don't know if anything's going to help us too much there. Can we do heat metal again? Can we reapply it? Yeah, we can reapply the damage. There. Okay, he did drop his weapon. That's good news. So he's not feeling too well. I suppose we could shatter over here. Oh, that would get shadow heart though. Yeah. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, you know, outer blast is a bad idea though. Outer blast. Flaming fist. You actually get Marcus both times, I think. Missed the first one, but that's okay. Shadow Hearts just burn these guys up. So if you step over here, that should get Marcus in the list here. There you go, that helps. And then, I don't know, smack him. Yeah, he's like one hit point. There we go. Okay, step back over this way so he's inside the Radiance. There we go. 
spirit guardians are really helpful. Yeah, go stop the winged horror from getting inside here, will ya? Uh, Gail, I'd like you to step back. I don't know if that's a thing. Can you step back without getting... Oh, no, he's stunned. That's right. So, yeah, we totally step back. So stay in the song if you can. And then just, you know, magic missile this dude. As many as you can possibly muster. Alright, he's almost dead. Like, actually, one magic missile might even do it. Okay, can we grab the other guy? So the guy over here, is he too far? He's way too far, isn't he? Yeah, okay. Okay, so magic missile's not it. We have two rays of frost for some reason. Well, let's hit him with ray of frost. There we go. So he just died of frost damage. Now we just got a bunch of the horrors inside the end, but other than that, we're pretty much done. Take you. Oh, now they're gonna run, huh? They're like, fuck this noise. Oh, no, they're trying to get to Isabel, sure. That's right, that's right. Still trying to get to Isabel. I mean, you can rage all you like, but it's not gonna work. Okay, he's dead. That's great. We have, like, what? Like, two horrors left? Something like that? Something like that. Also, I want to point out that this is a better in-defense scenario than the one in Pathfinder. The Pathfinder one is hot garbage. This one is well-balanced. I just want to say it gives the gives the impression of being uh, of being a danger without actually being too much of a danger, you know? Okay, so I think we can get over here. Over there. And then you can throw something at this guy, but that might be it. Oh, actually, we can water whip him. Uh, yeah, pull him towards us. Oh, he's a little bit too far. It might work. It might work. Come on, Karlak. Show him who you are. Well, he didn't do it, but I'm next to Isabel now, so we can help out. Forever dauntless. Okay, you step over here. Maybe we can help her blast him. in that corpse, brimming with potent magic. Oh, we can brim with anything it likes. Doesn't actually matter. How's, uh, how's Isabel doing? Is she okay? Oh, did you hear Isabel? Isabel, to... yeah, are go. you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Well, Marcus told Catherick when you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. That's fair. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Well, all right. Once I take Catherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Catherick will have none on you. End this. Okay. The concentration spells will gradually go away. There no we go. But us. Okay, you've got half blade, which is garbage. You've got a ring, shifting corpus ring. Okay, the interesting, huh? I mean, it does take a turn. It takes an action to do invisibility or blur, but it's still not bad. Let's grab that. And of course, grab the mind flare. That's one that we're still not going to use it. 
Is a great club plus one there. Is that all it is? Just a great club plus one. That's the weapon he dropped. I don't know why it counts as stealing, but sure, I'll take it. Winged Horror has nothing on him, but I mean, the Winged Horrors usually don't carry much. They're all melee guys. Yeah, they're just, they're not even as good as monks, really. Okay, yeah, just a lot of Winged Horrors. I don't think anything else was here. Mostly they're just Marcus. Uh, how am I doing spell-wise, guys? You doing okay? Yeah, okay, we're doing all right. I mean, health-wise, we're not doing too hot. We are out of short rests. Okay, I guess we can go ahead and long rest. It's not too bad. And then we'll go ahead and head out in the world. I don't think there's anything else here. We've already been to the barn. kind of wish there was a way we could rest here, but that's not really a thing. I think we just gotta go downstairs and then get out of here. There is a further downstairs we haven't been to. So if that's a battle, we could be in a bad way. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and, I mean, I wanna go down here, but let's rest up first. Let's go to camp. And then go rest up. More than enough to be able to do this. Uh, anybody want to talk? Karlak is resting and relaxing, which is great. I don't think anybody wants to talk to us. I think we can just go to bed. <sighs> okay, then I gotta remember to actually, like, do the usual buffs I do, so we need to make sure I do armor of Agathis. And then pack weapon. There we go. Alright, let me go ahead and get the buffs going. Um, so... Withers at? There he is. So I need you more than anything else right now. This vessel is at thy disposal. But the vessel only stares blankly. This. Okay. Still You're going to go into the cast long strider on everybody. And you know, we're do doing protection from poison. I don't know if it's actually useful or not, but. Resist couldn't hurt. Actually, maybe we want to do Ward on Gale, because it kind of seems like he's getting hit more than Karlak. And he's got the lowest AC, which means that's where guys are going to go. That's where the attack is going to go for. It's cruel, but it kind of makes sense. So, yeah, we've been putting Ward on Karlak. Actually, where is Karlak right now? Uh, where is Karlak right now? She should be over here, I think. Yeah, here we go. See, I no ward on you. We're just gonna do the protection of poison. Okay, but then Gale. Gale's the tricky bit. So it's just Gale over here, right? Yeah, okay. Halson would be over there, but he's currently in the inn right now. Okay, let's do the ward on you. And of course, Long Strider. No, not on yourself, you big old dingus. You. There we go. Okay, I think that's everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. Everybody's got the bus now. Okay, so go back to Will. And we should just be able to talk to Gale and get him uh, in the party. We don't do not need to talk to the bar to get him out. We'll just specify that Gale needs to replace him. 
I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. We can be sure of that. Damn right. Um, I still want to get you on my party. What's on your mind? Okay, I need you in my party, please. I'll be delighted. Though, someone else will... Back in the thick of... Okay, great. So now you're in. How close do we are? Are we to leveling up? Not very far at all. Yeah, we're only level 7. It's going to be a little while until we get all the way leveled up. Okay, so now we can go back over to the end. Yeah, we burned through our short rest really fast that time. I'm going to try not to do that too much. Gale being protected now by the ward will help a little, but only a little. Okay, so what's down here? Uh, looks like a cellar. Oh, it's a dock. Interesting. Okay. What about in the mysterious room here? Well, a completely different instance, so it could very well be a battle. The last light in cellar. There's an evidence chest over here. Because if we were going to be arrested, this would be where they'd put us. Uh, Karlak? Attention! If you please. Shouldn't be too hard. An arrow of acid, send that to Will. Eventually, we'll use all those arrows, it'll happen. Uh, well, the detention key might have actually done it, though. Grab it's the me. detention key. Thank you. Um, Ace for Azimuth, we've already seen. Just add that to Wares. What about this chest? Uh, just Dark Vision. Alright, hand that to Gale. You know what? How long has it been since we've had Gale ready our willing. spells? can't learn cloud skill. You can learn shocking grass. I suppose you can just do that. Okay, but you need to be at least level 5. Don't you have to be level 9 to learn level 5 spells? I thought so. I don't remember though. It's going to be a while. What am I needed? Um, we could open this, but I don't know why we do that. I don't think there's anything in there we need. Uh, there's something funky about this one, though. Probably go ahead and open this up for me. There's a there's shelves over there. Almost. Okay, that's not too bad. You can probably do that without any bonuses at all. Over not. Oh, actually, yeah, just barely with the dex plus five. Totally to do it. There you go. Oh, it's a wine rack. Um, but just regular old bottles. I mean, I don't even know if those are worth taking to camp. Yeah, they're just... They turned to vinegar at this point, probably. Okay, there we go. That one we can go ahead and send to camp. Um, get some in reserve. We can probably do the same. There's Steve's tools over there, which I will totally take. Thank you. And a sip potato here, which I guess we'll go ahead and grab. And make sure to make sure... Yeah, make sure to send those to camp. That send to camp and that send to camp. Sponge tray if we wanted to clean ourselves off, but I don't really care. Alright, nothing too fantastic there. What about around this side? It's like a lot more wine. Baldur's Grape. That's great. That's a good name for a wine vintage from Baldur's Gate. That's good. I like it. Wine galore, basically. Observe. Okay, so just make sure all of that goes to the camp. So hard to tell if anything good is going to be in here. Sometimes, but other times it's just a whole bunch of nothing. Okay, I want the barrel, please. Okay, we can't look at the barrel. Thing. Oh, there's... 
That seems like that's gotta be something. Maybe we just need to move. Yeah, open the doors. Open the doors. You can open the doors. So we just need to move these boxes out of the way. I don't suppose there's anything in the boxes. Nope, they're just here to be an annoyance. Okay, well, move them over here. And move that one as well on top of that one's just fine. I mean, that's theoretically enough, but I kind of want more here, right? Let's move. Let's move this one. Like over here should be fine. And then finally, the one you just stood on. Yeah, that one. Move that one over here. Okay. Oh, the. Oh, come on, really? Okay, just blast this Shot down, will ya? So that could indicate there's a shit ton of spiders in here, though not apparently. There's a tiny hole. Oh, okay, we blow up the smoke powder barrel, that'll blow up the hole. Yeah, let's make sure there's nothing in here we want first. Crate Quite empty. has nothing. The wooden crate has nothing. The wooden crate here has nothing. So these are purely just to add fuel to the fire, I suppose. Purely here for fuel to the fire. Okay, everyone back up. Everyone back up. I uh, will, no if, or sorry, Gale, if you please. So of course you can actually hit it from here. Okay, you have to go into the room a little bit. That's okay. On my honor. Oh God damn it! That was bigger than I wanted it to be. But we're okay. We're all right. Just a little bit on fire. Let me, let me put it out. Okay. There's some bad guy over there. Carlac, you go first. Uh, what do you know? It's a Those bunch of sharp as hell. mean locks? Their eyes are accustomed to darkness. A bit of light or fire will sort them right out. A bit of light or fire will sort them right out. Okay, good to know. Carla kind of seems like maybe she should just stay in front and let these guys come to us. Yeah, I mean, we could maybe do, like, things to the fire snake, though that's going to require some definite dancing around. And I think instead, just go ahead and do patient defense here. And just wait for them to come to us. So that's what they're going to do. They're totally going to come to us. Whether or not they go through Carlax and the thing entirely, though. Meanlock fear. Okay. Saved against the fear. That's great. Um, he did say light would sort these guys right out. Use an object with light. Um, let's go ahead and infuse... Fire one barrel with light. And we could blow them up, but that seems unlikely. Or do we infuse, like, something with light? Like, say, Karlak. Karlak, you want to be a beacon of light? Oh, I need to touch it. Okay. Um, here, touch Gale. Gale will now be a beacon of light. Doesn't seem like that did anything for us. Don't provoke an top for opportunity. Just come over here and pommel strike this guy. My enemy's fool. At least he's dazed. Something. Yeah, I think just regular light's not going to do it. I think the bard lore is wrong. Well, they're all coming up to us nice and easy-like. I mean, if... Uh, Gale or Shadowheart has an AoE spell. Now might be the time. A little bit of fear there, but we're alright. Yeah, look how gathered up they are there. That's just so tempting. Like a Shatter spell might work there. Actually, let's take a look and see what they've got. They're level 6. They've got Light Sensitivity. While in bright light, the creature has disadvantage on attack rolls and perception check. Okay, so that's at least good. So doing that on Gale makes it so they have disadvantage on them. So that's nice. And they have dark vision. Okay. Their highest stat is dexterity. 
No, they're not, not too much in here. Okay. Well. Yeah, Sunbeam doesn't seem right, right? But maybe like a Shatter spell? Shatter, like, right here we'll get four of them. I like that idea. They have 49, so it's not going to kill them, but at least we can max damage this. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, we're doing okay otherwise. Unleash me. Okay, I mean we can do another shatter spell, just not guaranteed to do max damage. But maybe uh no, not a fire bolt. What about a fire ball? Big bada booms. I love it. Let's do it. I mean, if it does do 48 damage, that'd be fantastic. It seems unlikely, but you never know. 27, I mean, that's not bad. That's, that's pretty good. Didn't kill anybody, though, but they're all not feeling too good. Yeah, I didn't actually kill anybody, though. That's too bad. Close, but not quite. Oh, but she has a shatter spell, right? Oh, no, she's feared. God damn it. Oh, no, 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 she's not. She got over it. She got over it. But unfortunately, not over it enough to be able to actually cast a spell. Could throw something. Though. Oh, no, you can't even throw something. No, we can do, like, one action, basically. All right. We want to get rid of a guy. Probably not that dude. Although, oh, he's threatening you, so we can only do that dude, right? He, oh, no, no, no. We can walk away. We can walk away. It's so, like, these guys are, like, two. Yeah, if we could just stand over here. Or maybe... No, we can't do any water spells, right? Yeah, okay. We can do Flurry of Blows, and that's basically it. Also, apparently, Misty Step, which I didn't even realize we had. Alright, you know, we should try to get rid of at least one of these guys. So, that guy right there. Or any one of these guys, really. So, Flurry of Blows. Uh, yeah, one of these guys. I don't know. This guy over here, I guess. At least one of them's out. Nice crit. Okay, well, I want you to do Aldrich Blast. Some of these guys are weaker. So, this guy here doesn't have very many hit points left, so probably be able to take him out. Uh, maybe him? Like, there's... I mean, more likely him than the guy with nine hit points, right? So, we'll try this. Okay. Worked on both of them. Great. I don't know if a hex is worth it here. So, I think we're not going to do it. Paralyzed. That's too bad. And then a crit because he's paralyzed. That's definitely too bad. I suppose we can cure paralysis somehow. I'm not sure how we would do that, though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we can be a beacon of hope. I don't know if it's a paralysis. Paralysis is probably not a wisdom saving throw. Could do bless, though. Any saving throw, really. Um, yeah, bless up to three creatures. So let's bless you. Bless you and bless you. That should at least give her an advantage on, or at least a little bit of an advantage on, not real advantage, not being a real twice come advantage, but Destroyer. something. Okay, well, Aldrich Blast might work. Ray of Frost, maybe? Yeah, these guys are just a little bit too close to me. We are frightened, which means disadvantage. We have 72%, though. It's 27 damage, though. Uh, 27 damage. I don't think we can do 27 damage with anything, right? Yeah, most would be able to do, like, half of that. Oh, well, Scorching Ray is an idea. All right, how about this? Two Scorching Rays on you. Assuming they hit, have a good chance of hurting you. Actually, three would probably just take him out. Let's do that. Uh. Now, Sifta has to actually, like, 
roll well. Yeah, she's paralyzed. She didn't make the didn't make the save. She's still paralyzed, unfortunately. All right. Other blasting, maybe. Maybe what we actually need is the song. Yeah, it gives a bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Okay, so now she should be in range of the song. I do not have enough to do anything with it, though. Yeah, Carlisle's going to be in trouble here. Yeah, because the damn paralysis, that just sucks. Okay, well, now that they're over there and not threatening me right now, let's do this. Should I get both of them? And then we can heal Karlak. Just a little bit. Maybe an ice knife here. Critical miss. Still got the ice on it, though. Actually, it did still seem to damage him. Okay, drink a potion. That might be all you can do right now, but go ahead and just drink a potion. It's a little bit better. Yeah, that's all I can do. Okay. <laughs> miss. That sucks, but okay. Fight him back. Actually, do a shield blow here. Knocked him prone. That's something. Actually, with him prone, we might get if we get advantage on attacks. Let's do that. Although, I really want this guy to die. We get advantage on both of them. Good. Now he's dead. Uh, that's it. Concentrate. You get advantage on him, so uh, not very much, though. 4 to 9 damage. I prefer the 16, maybe. Or the 8, whatever. One can't always be a gentleman. I'm just imagining this list guy a little bit. Okay. okay, but then you can go over here and smack him a bunch. And maybe take him out. There you go. That was rough. That was a little rough. Okay, short rest, please. I can keep going a little longer now. Carl could actually use another heal. Uh, you've got a lot of Let's potions, in. right? Yeah, there we go. Maybe one more. There we go. Perfect. So what's down here that's worth protecting? Do you guys have anything? Nothing. 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 I was hoping for at least out chemical ingredients. Covert cow. While obscured, the number you need to roll a critical hit while attacking is reduced by one. Not great, but the deck's saving throw up is not bad. Um, yeah, at some point, Carlisle's got to get armor. I don't know when that's going to happen, but go ahead, and, go ahead and pick that up. Maybe you'll be able to use that later. None, nobody else is going to be able to use it, unfortunately, but, you know, it might happen to somebody else. Gale's, of course, going to glow forever. The Salunite Shrine, hidden away. Hmm. Cozy down here. Secret even. Alright, Wooden Barrel has some wine here that we can totally add to the camp. Or send to camp, rather. Uh, Alfred's Notes. Hidden amidst columns, detail, and income, and expenditure of a tavern is aside, is an aside, written in tiny, urgent handwriting. I've concealed the secret relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies that stand against the oppressive reign of Catherick Storm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well. But I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfred in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Moon Maiden's light, and hope the banners of the faithful will soon rise against the treacherous dog, Thorm. So there's a Cellunite resistance. Interesting. Um, sure, let's hit the last light entrance key. And I suppose the plate would be good for wares. Don't know why I need to stand on the table to do it, but okay. 
Uh, portrait of a snowy brown beard? Yeah, let's examine this. Bundled in a heavy satins and frumpy hat, this noble fixes the observer with anxious eyes over a mustache beard combination of auburn whitening to snow. That's only 30, but whatever. Go ahead and add it to wares. Is that yet another cell? That's another idol of cell Yoon. There is work to do. You can totally have that. Just pick that up. There you go. Good yours. craftsmanship. Wasted on Saluna. Maybe it can be repurposed somehow. I know you like Shaw. I thought on. maybe it'd be a nice companion piece to your current. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, Cyanite prayer book. Ah, okay, an actual prayer. Okay. Go now. That's worse. Condelabra we can use, though with Gale glowing the way he is, we don't really need it. Okay, I don't know why you're climbing on the weirdest things here, Will. Yeah, that's to wares. Got another picture in here. Gilded portrait of a noble. Always like to look at these. The artist has exaggerated the points of the ears, which seem to cut the canvas dark like pale knives. The garb of this eminent man are beautiful, poised, and utterly indicative of means. Um, looks like he's a Gith Yankee. Yeah, he's climbing in the weirdest places. Okay. Anything else? Um, I actually need to hop to get out of here. I think that was it. I suppose we can grab the silver chalice and sell them, right? That'd be good. Let's do that. It's not very much money, but we need as much as we can get. Gale is expensive. Not to mention who knows what other money is going to be around here. All right. Well, for right now, thanks for watching. This has been Baldur's Gate 3. I'm PC Universe here, PC Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.